Ah! That'll do. Hi! Ah. <laughs> Hi! Welcome to All About The Bass. I'm Lee, I'm on my own today, but don't worry about that. That won't happen very often. Um, we're here today to talk about these brand new, beautiful Sire basses. Full range, you might have seen possibly some other videos that we've been doing recently. Um, there'd be an overview to check out if you want just a general kind of quick run through of what's new, but these are gonna go into detail of what's going on, what are the new features. So before we start, please, Please subscribe, subscribe, get in the hat, get in the hat for one of those clons. I'm in there, we're all in there, we're hoping to. But, uh, but yeah, get, get in the hat, get in the hat. I want it. I want it too, I want it too. Um, and please, if, yeah, if you haven't subscribed, give us a like before we start. More bass videos will be popping up if you want to open up one a new window over there or one over there. Open up as many as you want, but stick here first if you want to know about Sire. So, this here is a P5. And we have a, a V5 just around here as well. So um, it's a P5 and V5R. So the little R is a, um, a signal for retro, I believe. I'm thinking sort of vintage retro inspired because this range, if you're familiar with Sire, their, their main kind of unique selling point is their, their preamp, which is so versatile. Huge, uh, it's called the Heritage 3 preamp. So go and check those out. If you're more of an active player, this probably isn't your bag, but do stick with us, have a, have a little look, because th these things do sound like they've got some sort of preamp in, but they haven't, they're all passive. Um, but just whatever's going on under the hood with the with the pickups here have been worked out very, very well. Um, so yes, yeah, that is the, your main feature here. You'll find that this is the kind of first range in this five range where, as we're going down, uh, that everything is passive. So um, more like a traditional P bass or a jazz bass, as you will find throughout the decades. With um, Sire, they've just tried to match that as, and put one in their range to, to offer to you guys who just prefer a passive bass. Um, so as you see here, this is Alder, All-American Alder, which you'll find on the jazz as well. Hard maple in the neck, and as I say, we've talked about this before, but baking the neck and roasting it to this gorgeous, gorgeous colour. Um, but it's not about the colour, it's about what technically is going on underneath the hood. So. By doing that, by torification or torrifying or baking the next, you just basically remove all the moisture, all the excess moisture in the wood, so that there's no play over the years, no sort of movement, and it makes up, makes setting up the base and keeping it in tune, you know, extra, extra easy. So you don't have to worry about anything moving around. Um, more of a standard, their standard range of, of, uh, of hardware on this, so it's still very, very good quality, but obviously as we're going through the range, this one is more of their standard hardware. Very, very simple electronics, so P-Bass, um, uh, you P-Bass fans out there, you will know they, they are very simple, but that doesn't take anything away from them. They are a beautiful, beautiful bass, beautiful sound, but very, very simple controls, one volume, one tone, one pickup. Looks like two, but it's one. Um, so that's probably enough yapping. The more, the only thing I should say, with all these basses as well, they do a few electric like, kind of premium appointments. So the rolled edges of their fingerboards on this. So if I were to hold it up to you like that, the actual edges of the fingerboard with the frets are all curved together and fold together. So it's, oh, they, they feel so, so, so comfy. You won't get any problems with sharp frets, catching you, or again, taking the moisture out of the, the, the neck will save any shrinkage over the years when the wood does shrink. And then obviously the metal doesn't. So you end up feeling the actual fret end. So you won't get any of that. So another tick, another tick. Um, and proper rosewood, that's another, another thing to say. Proper rosewood neck on this, on the, nice. on the, on the board. Yeah, no, uh, no, uh, no cheaper alternatives, shall we say, so on this, so. Um, it looks wicked. It does, man, it, and this, is, this has got a 70s vibe to it, and I think yeah. the natural and the tortoise shell, it's really, cool. really, really lovely. And I, I just love where they bake in these, these necks, you get that kind of coffee headstock as well. It's, 
Anyway, this is me like drooling over it. I should uh, probably play it. So, volume, full tone, full volume. It sounds like this. <laughs> sounds like this. Half tone. And tone off. So, gives you a quick, quick idea of what you're getting. It's, um, I, to be honest, there's no, there's no audible um, in the room, sort of volume drop or really, I'm sure there technically is, obviously with an active preamp, you're gonna get more gain, more punch out of it. But just as a comparison, like uh, as a passive instrument, they are very, very lively, you know, like really, really, really responsive. So um, you're not really missing anything I, I, too much, unless you really need that scope of getting really, really wacky different sounds. But what I'm trying to really say in the roundabout way is you're not really losing too much of the tone with these. Um, so there we go, there's the P bass, then we just swap over to the jazz. This is our V5R. So, sorry, get the tune on. So, uh, apart from the amazing color, right? Um, oh, uh, on that, check all below, check the, the P bass as well, with there's other color options available, so do have, have a look. Um, same with this, some other color options in this, they're all beautiful. I've fallen in love with this greeny bluey thing. Um, and the black scratch plate, I think it's a really cool looking bass, especially with the block inlays and the, everything just does it for me on this in particular. But um, same sort of spec, so, you know, American order body, hard maple neck, all roasted, all torrified, you've got rosewood board. This actually, you do have the, the block inlays. I think it's probably just getting uh, more into that retro vibe, vintage vibe. Say it was the 70s that they're basing these on. I don't know if it is, but most Fender jazz basses had block inlays, P basses didn't. So I'm, I'm guessing that that was maybe what they're going for the vibe. But um, this you have the block inlays. So if you like that, you know, that's that's a nice little little feature. For me, I find it easier to know where I'm going. <laughs> Sometimes in the dark, you know, when you've got large blocks like that, it does make it easier to sort of aim where you're going. Uh, but that's just me. Um, Anything else to mention? I mean, quick access truss pod, rod point here. So if you do need to have, you have an emergency in a, in a gig and you have to do some adjustments, you don't have to unscrew anything or take necks off or anything. It's just straight in, ready to go. Um, and I really say hardware is the same, same sort of level on this. It's really just say you've got the two pickups as you do with the jazz. So you've got slightly different sound. So let me just give you a show of what that sounds like. So everything's on, all pickups, all the tone, sounds like this. We do back pick up full tone. We'll do front pickup, full tone. Both pickups, tone off. Back pick up, tone off. 
Correction, front pickup, turn off. Back pickup, turn off. So, just generally, uh, my personal feelings, again, like I said with the P bass, um, it's massive response, massive response for a passive bass. Um, so, um, really something to consider if you're looking at, um, just say, other, other passive basses, if, if a P bass or a jazz bass is your thing from other companies, check out what they're doing, obviously, but I definitely think it's the size a brand to consider with your decision making, because I think uh, anyone that gets one of these in their hands, you can't. You can't help but compare to what else is out there and, and the quality and what you do get for the money and you, you can't beat these guys. So there we are. There's your V3, uh, V5R V um, and we've got one more to show you just very, very quickly because we do go down to the V3, which normally, look at this. You might have been seeing this sneaking up behind me. So you see it's straight away, satin finish, satin finish from all these. Um, slightly different spec, but we'll just go through this quickly. So there are different colors of this as well. So this is a brand new model for this range, uh, for, for this, this year or so. Um, now the V3 was around, um, but they've just changed, changed this up a bit because they're just with a little bit of a, seeing what the market needs, you know, um, but this sort of value, so going down again to about 350 pounds, this is where they start. Passive again, so no preamp or anything, but again, uh, sort of uh, the, the vintage spec, but without the vintage employments. So this is all standard passive mahogany body. So solid mahogany, maple neck. Um, th this is actually a rosewood board still on this they use, which is again, brilliant. You don't find that in many other bases, this sort of money. Obviously black, black scratch plate, which I think just sets this range off really, really nicely. Have a look at the other colors that are available. There's a full satin black, which just looks mean, looks evil. It's great. Uh, there's a lovely orange some wicked finishes in, in this particular range. So um, thought I'd just plug this in, give you a quick quick overview of this, but say another jazz, this is only in the jazz shape, this particular model. So there's no P, three, P. Both pickups, tone on. to a different pickup straight away just you know mahogany right so that's the main main real difference here huge slab of mahogany here instead of alder or ash which we looked at before but straight away that's, that's got a base end that the other one the other one did so again like uh, just think about what might be good for you with the the appointments in certain woods so i'm gonna stop talking here we go sorry <laughs> Yes, you know, you know that one. And uh, right, so neck pickup, tone on. Do bridge pickup. Tone off a little bit. And front pickup. Right, I, I keep I keep getting blown out of the water by these people, and uh, I, this caught my eye when we were having a look at this earlier. But again, just you, you don't feel 
I don't feel any huge significant drop in any sort of quality or finish quality at all um, please if you can come in and try these yourself you know it'd be interested to hear what you, you you find as well please leave comments below just let us know what you, you feel um, but personally <laughs> for 350 quid um, <clears throat> that is one of the best passive jazz bass bases on the market um, so that's my thoughts please give us yours you know if, say, if you're local come down and try them or just Order one, you know, if you don't like it, you can send it back. We do that here. You know, talk to any of the, the guys or girls, they'll, they'll help you out. Um, but thank you for joining us. Say, if you haven't already, give us a like. Please join us soon for some more bass videos. Cece will be back with us. Absolutely. Don't, don't worry. She will be back. Um, so uh, we'll hopefully very see you very soon. But have a good Christmas. <gasps> I dated the video. Whoops. Merry Christmas. I did it again. <laughs> <laughs>